plenty of fresh bodies. It's mostly wilderness. There are alien ruins, but they were looted long ago. I don't know what the Bloodthorns want there, but Lagonic might know more. Hello. You stand on orc soil, Outlander. Tread carefully. This is not a good time to visit our island. Vile scum called the Bloodthorn Cult attacked. I got the name from one of the survivors before I split his skull. They're necromancers, defilers of the dead. We taught them a lesson. They won't be back. Moloch only knows, and I don't care. Whatever the reason, they died poorly and in great numbers. A few broke into my library, probably just to hide. Some old Breton scrolls are missing, likely destroyed in the attack. Breton scrawlings, bah! If they came for those, they wasted their lives. You look like trouble. Are you trouble? You were among the crew that arrived with Lambour, yes? I envy you. Free to see the world and make of your life whatever you wish. Shackles are not always made of iron. My destiny was decided when I was born a female. As the Chief's only daughter, my duty is to marry into another clan, forging an alliance. It is our way and my fate. <laughs> if only I had the courage. I want nothing more than to see the world before I marry. But I can't. Not without the blessing of my mother and grandmother. Go ahead. It won't do any good. Orc clans survived this way for many generations. It's simply how things are. I understand that, as much as it angers me. The clan chief is the only male who takes wives. The wives are crucial to the leadership and stability of the clan. Sons eventually try to take over the clan by strength, while daughters are married off to other clans. It's not that. I would enjoy the honor and responsibility of being a chief's wife. I just want to see the world, to live my life before I marry for the good of the clan. Of course, but that would mean abandoning my clan. I understand the importance of our traditions. I must be sure I'm doing the right thing. friend of Lambor. How can an old orc help you? I sense Locra found an ally in you. But your efforts are for naught. I cannot determine her path, nor can her mother or my son, the chief. Only Locra can decide. Her sense of duty battles her desire to live her life. Many daughters have chosen exile over the years. I did once. While the decision is Locra's alone, she seems to value your advice. She wishes to be free of guilt. She knows what she wants, but fears the consequences. Choices always come with a price. Lokra must choose and accept the cost. To follow her heart. 
Locra knows what she wants, and she knows the cost. She wants to be free, but fears exile from the clan. Her heart knows the path she should follow. Troublemakers will have to answer to me. Is there a reason you're in the Chief's chambers? If not, be on your way. You met my daughter then. She has spirit, I'll give her that. She'll make a worthy wife. So, she sent you to argue for her. She knows her duty, it is our way. The alliance her marriage makes for our clan will enable us to survive in these dangerous times. She is the Chief's only daughter. I would rather her be miserable and alive than dead on some fool adventure. But I don't expect an outsider to understand. Our lives belong to the clan. Its survival depends on marriage alliances more than strong sword arms. Locra must accept her part and perform her duty. If you want to help, remind her of this. Maybe she'll listen to you. Foolish talk makes me drunk. You won't like me when I'm drunk. What are you hungry for? I assume my family wasn't especially pleased with an outsider prying into our affairs. So what's your opinion, after talking to everyone? I really want to know.
You're right. I value my family, but this is my life. I should live it as I choose. I'm gonna follow my heart. At last, I find myself looking forward to my future. Yes, I'll say my farewells first. It won't be easy, but I won't sneak out like a thief. My family has a right to hear it from my lips. I'll see you on the ship when you're ready to leave. If I were too Rejoice that you did not fail. Body I live to serve my masters. Go west to the Aeliad site. The scroll's ritual should enable you to succeed where the others failed. I will not fail you, mistress. 